and this is James Surge back with Demo Quest SP. And I'm gonna show off some of the features in the bonus dungeon. And this is a three headed this is a splitting three Gleok. Done by successor. Eh, yeah, get over here. Okay, we're gonna go again. You're dead. And here are some Fakas from CJC's fifth qu fifth quest reskin. <laughs> dead. D E D and loving it. Aquamantis. Change is fine, but the weapons are kind of messed up. And the second form, they don't... They're not unblockable yet, so... Dead. This is a very early look at the dungeon. Things are likely to change between now and whenever this gets released. Peekaboo Weeds Robes. Also from from CJC's fifth quest when you skip. Take the ones of truth to see. And there's the compass. Fire Zoles. A little bit of a different death animation than normal Zoles, but. Away. They were not in Demo Quest DX, so they make their their appearance here is some This is life refill room. And you can see massive use of the custom guy script. This is a take anyone you want room different type than normal. Ah! Rope like legs. And a play off the old whiz robe thing. But these are mirror whiz robes. Definitely need to fix these mirror robes so they drop life. Some life. Ow. Regenerating me handily. You might remember these things from my fifth quest, but this particular one is only weak to fire, so. Ah! Still drops bombs. And you can see a blue woman there. She sells medicine. She typically potion shop. <laughs> and 
and a sample room where you... We have unblockable beams. Another script that I wrote. Now we're gonna go to section two. Come on, you stupid fuckers. And these are mini Dazongos from Inzo Gelmo's fifth quest. Got permission to use these in some of my quests, so. If you can get better sprites, let me know. Basically, shielded in front, get stunned with bombs. As you'd probably expect. Drop bombs all the time, too. Dead. And these are fireball spitting bats. You might remember these as magic drakeys from... You might remember these as magic drakeys from... The, 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 the fireball bats of James Quest Remastered right there. There's another instance of the custom guy script. One Yingra. Okay, I reflect the mantis. This this has been in a few quests. That's a trap room to the right, so it really knows. And a change in music to the Castlevania theme. Those are wizard ropes there. Just powered versions. And these are the rope threes from my fifth quest. Immune to the boomerang and take a ton of hits. Nothing special sprite-wise, though. Drains all your rupees. Now these are the wall bastards from Big Joe's fifth quest. Nothing here, we'll just move on. I want to make a drop set that doesn't include the clock. Now these are peekaboo bats here. Now these are probably going to be moved in the final dungeon because you don't have any rupees here and you need the Let's the Truth to find them. Don't do a hell of a lot of the damage, but they are annoying. These are probably going to be moved. How?
Ow. There's one left, I think. That's it. These are gonna be moved, because after 999 rupees, that's gonna be pretty cheap. I think I'm gonna replace them with red skeletons from Castlevania. to blow that open. Life refill room might change these enemies to something different too. Leave your opinions. Now this is a two-stair room. If you push the block, another stair appears. That that was another feature introduced in Zelda Classic that was after the after the last time it was done. Rope like lights. Uh... Okay, kill the one coming after me. Okay, some more rope knots. Ah! These are not exactly new, but the... They are new enemies in the quest, though. They they also appeared in Big Joe's fifth quest, mind you, for anyone wondering. They were also in Kaizo mode of New Quest 2. They were also not available in older quests, so that's why they're here. Once again, nasty and force. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Ah, stupid statue. Now this whiz rope summons blue whiz ropes if you get close to them. As you can see. Al almost like the... Like the blue whiz ropes do. So this room can... This is getting easier when the blue wizards can change to life drops, for sure. Unless I put in a new blue wizard that doesn't drop it. But this is a hard enough boss battle that I'm kind of tempted to leave it alone. Okay, boss is dead. Oop, I gotta fix that too. Lovely. And that is a heart ring. If you have a better sprite, let me know. It basically does what you would expect it to do. 
It restores life as you see it. Mind you, there are going to be blue ones of these later in the dungeon too, just like Zelda 2, so feel happy. Now these are vampires, like CJC's fifth quest reskin. These, these things grab onto you and suck, their, suck the life right out of you. Three sword lionels. Just some powered versions of regular enemies, nothing special here. Ow. And you can see I had fun spelling out new rooms. Lol. Ropes. If you have a script for upgraded bait, let me know. I'd like I'd like to use it. We're gonna need an extra item somewhere, but that's no problem. These Agoria threes never introduced in 192 and 210, so this is also their first appearance in Demo Quest. Okay, here's the... That Moldorm that everybody hated. It's the one from the fourth quest. I gave it a new sprite with the new animation, but... The one that needs the candle to kill and takes forever. He has a life here, so you can tell when he's gonna be dying. He does take forever, though. So many hit points, it's not even funny. There he goes, he's starting to die. Why he was put in the fourth quest, I don't know. But not terribly. It's easy if you got the candle hard if you have anything else. Okay, he's dying. Come in there, get in there. I think I might have buffed him in hit points. Like I said, you certainly got enough weapons now to deal with them, but... Takes freaking forever. Once again, candle your best friend. Try to get up to, to run multiple segments into it. Starting to dock. Saw some 
segments go away. Yes, he's finally starting to die. much of one here. Now I change the music here. Push all the secrets room. Now you may remember these for my fifth quest. These are eight shot with robes. Still might do the one from Hero Fire, isn't it? And immune to any boomerang. Now these are fire keys, I gotta work on these a little bit. Obviously you could t Not very strong, but they do damage if you hit them, so... Word of advice, don't do that. <laughs> Just demonstrating. Land Mola basically works the same as about... ...as the Moldorm, so I'm gonna use... ...use the one fire on him. Not quite as many hits, though. Once again, use the life meter to your advantage, knowing when he's gonna die. Unlike the Moldorm, he is more threatening, so you kinda wanna stay away from him. Might need an upgraded one and book in this game. Gonna look into it. Still thinking about putting some upgraded items in places. Whispering is the missing item. That's not in here yet. Ow. Also, I'm looking for another puzzle script so everybody knows. I want to put another puzzle in here. It's over. And there's another custom guy script the joke. More. More of the Magic Draggy type bats. Also, if I get other things, might put them in too. Axe armor is certainly on the list of things to go in. But they have to be scripted. Also putting in iron knuckles, but can't get the scripts to work yet. Alright, last room to show. Okay, I think I might have to put the compass beam in here still. Ah! I'm dead. Tough room there. Alright, there's a boss key there, but I'm not gonna show it because the rest of the dungeon parts are not done, so we'll just end it here. This is James Swords signing off. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!